I'm going to go over the electric and hydraulic functions on the Ventrac 4500. With all the options installed, you have three sets of hydraulics for the front, and an electric auxiliary, and three sets of hydraulics in the back, and an electric auxiliary. Now Ventrac comes standard with the hydraulics that raise and lower the hitch arm assembly here, and with this top set of hydraulics here. Optionally, you can get a second set of hydraulics here, controlled by the green button, and the electric auxiliary here. All of those functions on the front are controlled by both of these levers to include the tractor's forward and reverse movement. This controls the hitch arms. This controls the second set of hydraulics and depressing the green button controls the auxiliary set. There are two sets of electric functions that are controlled with the red rocker switch, which is just simply an on and off. In this case, I use that uh, for the seed box on the aerovator. And uh, these two buttons here come standard. Uh, the bottom button I added custom for my horn. But the top and bottom buttons here control certain functions on some attachments like the V-blade, or in the case of the snowblower right now, raises and lowers the throw height. Now these three levers control the hydraulics on the back of the machine. All of these are optional. And the rear electric is controlled with these switches here. The bottom switch is to control fan direction. There's a setting on here that leaves it in automatic, so the fan will come on when it needs to. And depressing that switch will leave the fan on all the time. So when it's cold, that actually blows the warm air and kind of keeps you warm a little bit in the winter. That should give you a really good idea of how the hydraulics and electric controls work. If you have any more questions, please let me know. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please take the time to like and subscribe to our channel. It's greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot. See you later.